Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and today we are going to learn another array based Java program. So the program today we are going to learn is very common in interviews and uh, it is like they will give you one uh, array and they will give you one number as well and they will ask you to find all the pairs whose sum are equal to that number. So suppose here we have an array where we have elements like 9, 5, 14, 3, 1, 15 and 6 and suppose they give the number as 20 okay so now we need to find the pairs means if you see if you make the pair like 9 and 5 the sum of 9 and 5 will be 14 14 is not equal to 20 9 plus 14 23 again 23 is not equal to 20 9 and 3 will not make uh, the 20 then same thing for 9 1 same thing goes for 9 15 and then 9 6 so if we combine if you make the pair of 9 from uh, with the remaining elements of array it will not make the 20 but suppose if you see this 5 5 and if you make the pair as 15 right with this element then 5 plus 15 will make 20. So we need to find the pair which whose sum are equal to that given number like 5 and 15, 14 and 6, it will be 20, right? So these kind of uh, pairs we need to find. The question is very simple, but this is generally asked to with the three and four years of experience guys so that they can understand if you are how you are uh, thinking of the logic and writing the solution. So there are actually multiple uh, multiple ways of uh, solving this program. So we are going to learn three ways. Okay. And I will start from brute force because starting from basic logic will really help you to write some advanced logic. Okay. So uh, let's decide the logic. So let's suppose the target number we have as 20 okay so let me explain it so that we can see it proper okay so we have this array we, then we have target number and i need to find the pairs so what will be the common logic or common uh, brainstorming here what i what actually i am doing i need to make the pairs so how you make the pairs first thing you need to do the iteration okay means ideally you need to pick the element okay pick the element from the array and then make the pair from the remaining element suppose if you pick the 9 they to make the pair 9 5 9 14 9 3 9 1 9 15 9 6 i need to add both the numbers and see if the sum are equal to your target number or not if yes then you need to print it out same thing you need to repeat for all the elements like 5 9 5 14 5 3 5 1 5 15 6 15 right not 6 15 6 5 same thing of 14 3 and 1 and 15 and 6 means you need to pick one element and make the pairs with the remaining elements okay but here's some tricky part okay how if you make the pair like 9 and 5 okay so let me draw something like suppose you pick the first element and you make the pair like 9 5 right then another pair we have 9 and 14 okay then again another pair we have 9 and 3 sorry it will be 9 and 3 then what we have 9 comma 3 then 9 comma 1 9 comma 15 and the last one will be 9 comma 6 so here here are the possible pairs with the first index element right first uh, like zero index and we have how many pairs 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now when you pick this element right the what will the first pair the first pair will be 5 9 okay then 5 14 then 5 and 3 then 5 
what is next one five fifteen the last one will be five and six okay so we got the another pair with the this uh, in second element of the array if you see the first uh, pay, uh, first set right and second set the nine five and the five nine which is coming in the second iteration actually there's no difference between nine five and five nine because you are just making the sum okay that's why it's not necessary to iterate or check the com check the sum again for the nine five or five nine if you are checking for nine five why to check for five nine again so what actually we should do here when you pick the element okay you need to make the pairs from the next elements onward right means 95 914 93 sorry 91 915 but when you take the this element 5 don't go for 5 and 9 because that will be already covered with this uh, element you should go for 5 14 because that will make a unique pairs 5 3 5 1 5 15 and 5 6 if you take the 14 again if you go for 14 9 because that is already covered here right why to go for again if you go for 14 and 5 that is covered here so you are just repetitive the pairs so to get the unique pairs only if you pick this element okay this uh, third element that is start from the fourth element because then there is no need to go for the previous element because those will create the duplicate pairs duplicate check because if you print the 9, 5 and 5, 9, both are same only, right? So, this we need to keep in mind. And while writing this logic, we need to always start from the next index to make the pairs. This is a brute force technique. So, let me go and write some uh, Java program which will help us to ach uh, achieve this logic. So, let me jump to Eclipse and let me create a program sorry a cl uh, class file and I will name it as find pairs from array using brute force okay and let me have a main method and let me create an integer array input array and I will have the elements like 9, 5, 14, 3, 1, 15 and 6 okay these are elements and the target number we have int target number as 20 so first thing we need to do the iteration so if you see our logic here we need to uh, iterate the array till the last right or if you if you are here right suppose you, you are you are iterating this array and you are reached here then you make the one pair 15 6 when you reach at the last right so there's no meaning of going backward right like six uh, like six nine six five because those will be covered already in my previous iteration so we need to go till here only right because there's no need to make go and make the pairs for the last one correct so what i'm going to do for int i equal to zero okay then i less than array dot length okay then i plus plus anyway uh, sorry it's input array input array so there okay so whatever logic i just said that i should go for here so what is the length of this array it will be seven right so we should iterate it six times okay so if you start from zero and i less than seven 
right so means 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 we are going one extra here right but if you see the next loop here okay what is the meaning of this if you pick the first element then it to make the pair with the remaining elements okay so for this if i write int j equal to 0 or i plus 1 right why i plus 1 because if you pick this element right we need to make the pairs from the next element means if i is pointing to the this element then j should point i plus 1 that is next element okay that's why i using the int j equal to i plus 1 j should be and we need to go till last right till last if you start from this then all the pairs till last element so this will be input array dot length then j plus plus right simple two for loops we need to use first for loop will keep the counter for how many times we need to iterate second element second for loop will help you to make the pairs from the next elements onward okay so when you reached here when you reached here right for in the first for loop so j should so second for loop will see i plus one so this will be no i plus one right because this will be end of the array so anyway if you are not putting anything here like if you are not doing minus one then also it will not make any sense because anyway the second outer for loop will not sorry inner for loop will not execute because this is going out of bound out of range okay then what logic we have if input array because we need to add both the numbers I means the first uh, the first the element from the uh, first for loop plus the current element okay from the second iteration second for loop j equal to equal to in target number okay if yes then this out the pair side right? means input of i then input of j right and we'll separate it using the comma okay let me run the program and let's see what is the output okay so we can see we got the two pairs 5 and 15 and 14 and 6 so i don't think we have any other pair here right yeah so this is called brute force logic and this is very really simple just need to keep something in mind like how many times we need to iterate so first thing we need to iterate till the last but last uh, actually we need to iterate last element minus one okay but the inner for loop will take uh, will take care of that part because we are using the j equal to i plus one from the next element to make the pairs okay so why we are using the i plus one because it if you don't make then you need, you are going to have some duplicate checks there's no need of that okay to make the unique pairs you should start from the next element okay so in the next uh, videos we'll see the more optimal part optimal way of writing the same logic okay not the same logic. we'll find some another way and we write the logic for that okay so if you have any question please comment on this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone